news update opinion why president Buhari should not let biafra exist details in the past months the activities of the indigenous people of biafra ipop and the eastern security network esn have been disturbing in the southeast region kudos to the federal government for apprehending their leader unam dikano and putting him on trial the violent activities of the members of the separatist group include announcing sit at home orders and disrupting economic activities in the southeast region. All this they did without remorse. Remorse. Every time tragedy struck, the secessionist group denied being part of those engineering the tragedy. All the activities of the separatist group mentioned above are both unconstitutional and uncalled for. President Mohamed Buhari should never let Biafra exist because a division will prevent some tribes from entering into the new nation. Most members of IPOB have grievances against tribes like the Fulani and the Aousas, and they will not allow these tribes in the, into their nation. Another reason is that Nigeria will no longer generate revenue from any state that is no longer part of our. As a country, we have all it takes to build a good country, and a division will create room for loss. Every state needs the other. A division is not wanted by the majority, so it should not happen. Nigeria is the giant of Africa. A separation will make other people think less of us. The federal government should not let these violent agitators prevail. Furthermore, President Momotu Buhari should not allow the country to divide because according to the constitution of the country, anyone who threatens the peaceful coexistence of the country should be charged with treason. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, have been proscribed by the laws of Nigeria. Power should not be given to a separatist group that has been tagged as such. President Buhari should vehemently oppose the existence of Biafra because peace is priceless. This is the opinion that President Mohamedou Buhari should not let Biafra exist. The IPOP people have been causing many things in the southeast. The violent activities of the members of the separatist group include announcing sit at home orders and disrupting economic activities in the southeast region, killing people, destructing properties, burning down of properties, attacking police, office, police officers and their offices. And with all this that they've done, they did it without remorse. Every time tragedy struck, struck the secessionist group denied being part of those that are behind the tragedy. All the activities of the separatist group mentioned above are both unconstitutional and uncalled for. President Muhammad Buhari should never let Biafra exist because a division will prevent some tribes from entering into the new nation. Nigeria is the giant of Africa. A separation will make the people think less of us. The president should not allow a division because it will create room for more loss. As a country, we have all it takes to build a good, to build a good country. Every state needs the order. A division is not wanted by the majority, so it will never happen. If the BFN is being separated from Nigeria, Nigeria will not be able to have incomes from the separated states. The incomes will be reduced because those ones are no longer under Nigerian. Nigeria. President Buhari should not allow the country to divide because according to constitution of the country, anyone who threatens the peaceful coexistence of the country should be charged with treason. The IPO people have been causing 
riots unrest in the southeast the southeast have become a place whereby when you are walking you have to look front back right side for before you move because anybody can attack you from anywhere the agitators are all over the southeast and they are doing everything possible to make sure they win the agitation the, agi- the, the agitators, the violent agitators, will not prevail. The president should make sure that the country is not divided. The power should not be given to the separatist group. President Buhari should make sure that the existence of Biafra do not hold because our peace is priceless. Our nation, peace is priceless as we all want peace in our country. Nigeria, B- Nigeria's president, Momodou Buhari, speaks out on Biafra. In a stark warning, Buhari said that the country will remain united despite incessant demands from some parts of Nigeria that want independence. Nigeria's unity is settled and not negotiable. We shall not allow irresponsible elements to start trouble and when things get bad, they run away and saddle others with the responsibility of bringing back order, if necessary with their blood. Every Nigeria has the right to live and pursue its business anywhere in Nigeria would not let any interests. Buhari also did not mean words about the videos that have been circulating on different social media platforms. I was distressed to notice that some of the comments, especially in the social media, have crossed our national red lines by daring to question our collective existence as a nation. This is a step too far. In the meantime, the whereabout of Biafran leader is is in the detention. State governors have urged calm. Nigeria governors called for calm after renewed protests by pro Biafran supporters calling for independence. The indigenous people of Biafran group, led by Unam Dikanu, want to break away from Nigeria and create a separate state for the predominantly Igbo people in southeastern Nigeria. With screens of police vehicles have been smashed, petrol bombs thrown, bonfires lit on streets to restrict movement and warning shots fired. In the latest violence, Simon Lalong, governor of Plato State in central Nigeria, convened a meeting of leaders from the Aousa and Igbo communities following violence at two markets. Two people were reportedly killed and v- calm. And calm was only restored after police fired warning shots in the air. We are giving the opinion that President Muhammadu Buhari should not let Biafra exist. Thank you listeners for listening. Do have a good day.